Hello YouTube. I thought what I would do for my first ever review is review the GorillaPod mobile vlogging kit because I could not find any reviews of it and YouTube is where I go so I thought well if I can't I'll make my own. Uh, this is what it looks like assembled. It is pug ugly and looks like a child's drawing of an adult. It contains all this gear, well most of it. You do not get the mobile phone, you do not get the GoPro, but you do get everything else. Uh, you get the tripod, which is quite a lightweight tripod, actually. Um, it holds this lot weighs a ton. It will hold all that. And you know, gorilla pods are famous because they wrap them around things like tree trunks to hold them steady. Um, you get the head, which screws on, standard tripod head. You get the two extension arms. You get the GoPro BMO mini light. There is a BMO big, but this thing is bloody bright. It has a diffuser that flops on and off. I would not use it with that diffuser because you will go blind. I will put it on. It's very sunny outside, so it's diffused, but I will show it you out to, in the night and it is way bright enough on its lowest setting. You can turn it up and down in brightness on the mobile app, or you can do it by pushing the buttons either side. It has an up and down and it ratchets up and down, so you don't need that. You get the Wavo mobile mic. Uh, there is a bigger mic, which has two of these called liars, which hold the microphone in place and slightly more frequency, but this was perfectly good. Um, I tried this, you'll hear, oops, there goes the diffuser. You will hear what that sounds like, plugged in and unplugged, and it does make a big difference. And then you get the GoPro mount um, as well to attach that to. So it's quite a good little kit. If you buy it all separately, I added it up from the shop. Uh, this is 179 pounds in England. Um, if I bought them all separately, it's 189 pounds. You get a 10 pound saving by buying it as a kit, which is not huge, but it's a £10 saving. Um, okay, I'll get the box and talk you through the tech specs. Okay, so what it tells you. So I'll turn this around. You can get a phone 56 to 91 millimeters, which is that big in it. Uh, I have an S10 and LG V20. There's masses of room. See, so there's this size thing at the top. That's the smallest phone size, that's the largest there. Um, you also get cables for both a DSLR uh, and a phone. So you can plug the microphone into your top of your camera uh, or your mobile phone. Um, and you get charging cable for the, it's a USB-C charging cable for the BMO Mini. The BMO Mini there is 470 lux at one meter. Um, it's just bright, it feels bright. It's magnetic, so you can stick it to things if you're out or in your house. It is waterproof to 100, meter, 100 feet, 30 meters. Uh, the microphone is not, so when you're filming sharks, you'll have no sound. Um, and you can use the Bluetooth wireless control. I'll show you the app working. Um, I can't see why you wouldn't use the buttons on the side. It doesn't seem to give anything else. But apparently, if you have multiple, you can create scenes. You can reset. So you can have a BMO as a key light and a BMO mini as a fill light and set that so you turn it on. I think that's what the app's useful for. On one light, uh, not so much. Then on the microphone, you have the microphone, which has great sound quality. Uh, it is compact and the sound thing on the top uh, and doesn't need a battery. It plugs straight into the phone with no battery required, which is useful and is, is pretty good. And then obviously you get the jobby tripod. Okay, so I decided to speed this up to 75% on top because there's nothing more boring than a very long YouTube video. So in the box, you get three instruction books, one for the microphone, one for the BMO Mini, and one for the tripod itself. Um, you obviously also get the tripod, which is actually quite lightweight, as I mentioned before. Um, easy to use. Then you get the phone holder, which can be used in portrait or landscape. Be careful when you put it in portrait, because it drops out the bottom when you're putting it in, which happened to me. You get the mobile microphone, which can be used without the windsock when you're inside, and the lyre that goes on the back, and is an absolute bastard to put on, uh, but does go on with a hard squeeze. This is a little foot that goes on the bottom of the light. Uh, you can screw it in so that you can put it into a horseshoe thing that's also over there to save you having to screw it on and off the legs if you're taking it on and off all the time. Uh, it's quite useful. That on the top is the diffuser. That's the charging port um, for USB-C. The cable's coming up in a minute. Uh, that's all the way around it. It's magnetic at the back. That's the diffuser on top. If you turn it on, it is blindingly bright. You can click the buttons to take it down and up in brightness or use the app. I just wouldn't bother. Um, 
and that's it with the diffuser on. And you hold down the thing for one and a half seconds, turn it off. That is the GoPro mounts for a GoPro, so you can monitor your GoPro with your phone. And they're obviously the two extra arms that screw onto the side of the head. Took me a while to figure that out, being a dummy. Then in the bag, you get a cable to plug your iPhone in. That's an iPhone jack to headphones so that you can use the mic cable. That is the camera cable for your DSLR. That's your cable for your phone. Then you get the charging cable for the BMO light and you get a little bag, which is quite nice. It's furrily lined to put all your extras in when they're not in the box. That uh, is a lot. Another bonus feature is that the extendable arms fit on anything with the tripod mount, including the bottom of your Osmo Mobile 3. So I can just screw that arm on and use the microphone on the Osmo, which is a big bonus because I've been touching with the elastic band. So that is a nice add-on without having to buy any extra gear for that. Very nice piece of gear as well, this, look at that. Probably a bump there, you hear that? Okay, so now I'm filming on no mic, no external mic, the phone mic and the phone with no BMO Mini light. Um, that is unusable. I don't know how it sounds, I'll have to find out when I get back. But we can tell if this is better or not better. God, it's dark. I mean, look at that there. So, yeah. So again, what I'll do now is I'll turn, plug the mic back in. Hello sound. Then I'll turn the light on. Come on Beamer, it's not easy to turn on. Let's turn around and go back where we came from. Okay. There we are again. I mean, look at the difference of that. I have to say, this is pretty, pretty good. Would I buy it again? It is expensive at £179, but you do get a lot of kit. The light makes it practical to film at night. The microphone does a great job of cutting out ambient noise. It does look a bit like talking to a robot friend, but I think it's not bad value for money. Uh, I'd love to know what you think. If you let me know in the comments below, I would be grateful, and I hope you've enjoyed my first ever YouTube video. Thank you for watching.